Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you i hope you are doing well and studying with responsibility welcome to your e lesson in this lesson we will be learning about idioms so do you know what are idioms i'm sure you are aware of them a little bit i'll be explaining them a little bit more for your better understanding now let's begin first of all the question is what is an idiom well idiom is a word or phrase that does not have its normal everyday or literal meaning now what do i mean when i say that for example if i say this work is piece of cake it doesn't mean that work is actually a piece of cake and i can eat it but what i am trying to say is that work is very easy so what i'm saying that work is very easy and i am using the phrase or idiom piece of cake so it doesn't have the literal meaning of that phrase right now we wonder why does piece of cake mean easy well most of the people and if i say maximum of the people that would be correct as well likes uh, cakes right we all love them and when there is a piece of cake or a cake in front of you you eat it very easily without thinking twice and it's easy that is why it means easy to do all right i hope you have understood it very nicely now when you listen to or read english stories or watch movies or shows you will be able to listen to many idioms used by the speakers during their conversation now the question is why do we have to learn idioms well by using idiom one can have better speaking skill and also one can explain what they are trying to say in a better way with better words so now let's have a look at some idioms all right students so here on the screen you can see the list of idioms and these are the list of idioms that we are going to be covering in this semester it doesn't mean there are only these idioms only 15 there are so many more but we are going to give a closer look to these ones and dear students do use them do try using them and understanding these idioms and improve your english speaking skills all right okay now let's give a look at the first idiom all right so now let's begin our first idiom is have bigger fish to fry it means have more important things to do example of this idiom is i can't stay here much longer i have bigger fish to fry or i want chris to help me with this project but he claims he has bigger fish to fry right now all right now let's move towards our second idiom forbidden fruit it means something banned or not allowed the example for this idiom is one must not take somebody's things without their permission as it is a forbidden fruit before they allow us to do so now let's move towards our next idiom the third idiom is within reason it means that is reasonable if you say that you will do anything within reason you mean that you will do anything that is fair or reasonable and not to extreme the example of this idiom is i will take any job that comes along within reason now let's move to words our fourth idiom under the impression it means having the idea or belief that now the 
Example for this idiom is It is thinking, assuming or believing something as in I was under the impression that they were coming today. This idiom often suggests this idiom often suggests that the idea or belief one had is mistaken. All right students. So these were our first four idioms. Now let's give a look at these idioms one more time. The first idiom is have bigger fish to fry means have more important things to do. The second idiom is forbidden fruit means something banned or not allowed. Third idiom is within reason means that is reasonable or acceptable. And the fourth idiom is under the impression that it means having the idea of something which is not actually true. So dear students, I hope that you have understood these idioms and you will be able to write down the meanings and the sentences of these idioms into your notebooks. Now I will meet with you next time inshallah into the next lesson with more idioms and other things as well. Till then, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.